today i am going to start a new topic input device of computer system in this chapter we are going to learn various input devices of computer system so let's we start basically input devices are used for giving data or instruction to the computer system so input devices are those devices which provide the data and instruction in computer readable form we are giving the analog data which is converted into digital 0 and 1 examples various examples are keyboard mouse scanner joystick etc so let's take talk about the input device an input device is a piece of computer hardware equipment used to provide data and control signals to an information processing system such as a computer or information appliances input devices are used to give the instruction to the computer system so that the computer system or digital devices can process that data and after that they will work definitely it is a hardware so the first device is keyboard it is a typewriter like device which is used to type in the letter digits and commands it contains matrix of switches means one switch per key as we have seen that different keyboards are there the individual keys are work for individual uses the keyboard are used for giving instruction and commands different types of key keyboard you have seen serial keyboard and usb keyboard as well as the wireless keyboard wireless keyboard are used with the wireless connectivity with the adapter usb you have seen that universal serial serial bus normally the the port you have seen in the pen right and ps2 that is a circular port will be there next is the is the concept keyboard this keyboard we are use for the particular functions means the particular key is used for the particular action suppose you want to get the print then print symbol will be there suppose you want to get the food then the food picture will be there on the key so this type of keys are called as a conceptual keyboard which is used for a specific function not for all tasks normally it is used in the restaurant for food items you can order the food by the using or pressing the keys in the different hotels or restaurants next is the mouse a computer mouse is a handheld pointing device that detect two dimensional motion relative to a surface computer is a pointing device which works on two dimensional that is height and width not on the depth which work on the moving their point th their ball or the optical light on the surface what happened with that the light will emerge on the surface and then after they will reflect back to the emerging point and according they will reflect towards the movement well and according in opposite direction the mouse pointer will be moved suppose you are moving the mouse to the left side pointer will move to the left side it works on a graphical user interface gui on the computer normally on the windows operating system the first public demonstration of a mouse controlling a computer system was in 1968 the first mouse was given and that was like a joystick that is a handling device mouse after that the mouse where comes in a ball the bottom side of the mouse 
one ball uh, was placed inside of that that ball will rolled and that rolling ball will push the will of the mouse and accordingly the mouse pointer will be move this one is used as an input device to communicate and give the instruction to the various part of the computer system next is a microphone a microphone or we call say that we call the mic it is another input device which is used to convert the sound received into computer's format we are giving the sound in analog form and that is will be converted into the computer system in digital formats so that's why it is called digitized sound or digital audio a microphone can, can work if your computer has a special hardware known as sound card a mic or microphone will work if the sound card will be available in your system sound card is the hardware which is responsible for receiving and sending the sound signals via digitalization now we will talk about the scanner the scanner is another input device which is very similar to the photocopy machine normally we have seen that one glassy surface will be there we are putting on the page then flip down the flip then after we will start the xerox very similar type of device will be there but that variety of a scanner will be there what happen a scanner will get the input of image and it transfer or convert into digitalized form to the computer system by this way a scanner will accept the information to the computer system from image to the digital format different types of scanners are there normally three types handheld scanner as the name is showing that we can use by the moving of handle with the hand and through that we will scan the document as like as barcode reader you have seen in the shopping malls where the barcode reader will be merged the light from that to the particular goods right they are reading the barcode in previous class i was discuss very similar of that we are moving the handle that is the handle the scanner on the page by moving just like a painting with the paint brush on the page light will emerge on the page and accordingly they will read the data which is available on the page and accordingly it will scan and yes definitely that scanned image will transfer or converted into the digitalized form to the computer system next one is the flat bed scanner this is the popular one normally we people have seen that in the offices schools etc in that one there is a flap you can open the flap then glassy surface will be there you put your document on that glassy surface then after put down your flap then start for a scanning it is a larger in size if larger in size then definitely the higher quality of image will be there and same way that will be convert into digitalized form to the computer next one is the drum scanner that is a medium size means bigger than the flat bed where the roller or rolling drum will be there we will just put our documents or page or image on the rolling surface of the drum then that seat will ready for the scanning we will push the start button then drum will move and when they are moving the light will emerge on the page and that lights will definitely get the data from that page that is the image or whatever the documents in the image form and transfer to the computer in digitalized form that's way the rolling they can scan next one is touch screen touch screen 
is an input device as well as the output device. The screen is connected with the electronic visual circuit board. They have given the instruction by touching the screen to that area and then after they will revert back from there in the form of output. That touch screen is either the single touch or multi touch. We will use with the single finger, double finger or the stylus. It is a popular input device nowadays and normally it is used in the mobiles and touchpad. After the instruction given to them, they will process and give us the output by touching them with the electronic impulses. Next one is the magnetic strip reader. Magnetic strip reader were found on the back side of the debit and credit card in the form of encrypted. Encrypted form the data were stored means until or unless the reader will be not there the people cannot read the information from there that is a coded form we have seen that the debit or credit card were used on the swipe machine that swipe machine will work as a magnetic strip reader which can get the or read the information from the strip which is available on the debit or credit card for the transaction of money next one is the optical mark reader this device were used to read the marking on the page that marking either with the ink or either with the color what happen if on the page there is the marking right the spot will be there we will place on the figure you can see that if we will place on the optical mark reader or recognition device what happen the light will emerge on the surface of the page that light will pass to those places where no spots found by them and those lights will reflect back to the device where they will found out the spot on the page all these were converting the digital signals to the optical light optical light to the digital signals digitalized form okay by this way they are reading the omr sheet of exams various exams next one is the optical character reader this device we are also performing a very similar to the optical mark reader but here they are reading the characters if on the page the character will be there they will read those character and revert back to the computer system in the digital form and by that way they will read the information normally it is used in the text written on the image movies or the diagrams where text has been placed right the next one is magnetic ink character reader this one is used with the help of magnetic impulses with the low intensity of optical lights but very dense optical lights will be there which can recognize the character that is a signature in the magnetized form that will read the letters that is a signature which is given on the page and as it is that one will be reflected or shown to the computer system by that way that signature will be recognized this device popularly used in the reading of signature which has been given on the checks in the banks next device is light pen it is very similar to the pen but this is the handheld 
photosensitive device resembling like a pen held to a display screen on a computer terminal for passing information to the computer. That light pen will work on the touch screen. A special board will be there with coming with the light pen. Whatever we are writing on that board or we are drawing on that board that will be reflected on the screen of the computer's monitor. And as it is, they are recognized to the computer system as a input. That's it for today. Thank you. Thank you very much.